The main disadvantage of competition kettlebells is that they can only be used with one hand. So the all-important two-handed swing is out, and so are the valuable goblet squats, halos, and many other beginner-based exercises. What? We're all about kettlebells, so if you are into kettlebells, then like the video. And consider subscribing and let me know in the comments if you have made the same experience because I haven't and our clients haven't. Now, in this article, the person is comparing a competition kettlebell with a cast iron kettlebell. Now, I think there's a few differences. The cast iron kettlebell offers you a thicker handle when they get heavier, different size. Now, this may work and challenge your grip even further if that's of your interest they also go up to i think what 80 kilograms or 96 these monster bells so this can give you even a challenge with very or fairly heavy weights where i believe even in that case maybe then a barbell is even better in certain cases but that's just my opinion in competitions that's the one that we favor the diameter and the size stay the same even though the weight gets heavier and because the weight gets heavier, this means if you always have the same handle, the same bell, then you have precise a precise indicator for your technique and you don't have to adjust. That's why we favor them. Now in this article, the person says, the main disadvantage of the competition kettlebell is that they can only be used with one hand. So the all important two-handed swing is out. I don't think it's that important. I think it's a powerful exercise, the double-handed hard style swing. Yet you can do a single-handed hard style swing. You can do a hand-to-hand -hand kettlebell sport, a hybrid swing. It's not as important. It is powerful, but it's not the all important exercise as he describes it in my opinion. And so are the valuable goblet squats, halos, and many other beginner-based exercises. Now the goblet squat, you can do it, no problem. You can grab it on the handle up here and then enclose it with your forearms. You can grab it where the handle points down and you grab the kettlebell by itself. Totally fine. Halos, totally fine. Squats, and we just did a back squat with a client yesterday. Totally fine. Many other beginner-based exercises. Deadlift, totally fine. Press, totally fine with the so-called crossfit grip that we call it. And you have to imagine we work exclusively with competition kettlebells with beginners and we have seen no problem so that's why i believe this statement is just not true or it lacks experience when i swing a 48 kilogram kettlebell for the double handed hard style swing the grip is fairly different even if you use a lighter kettlebell you have to grab it differently if you have very large hands yes you may experience or encounter a problem yet i have fairly long fingers and have no problem whatsoever so the reason why I want to do this video is this is not pro and con or this is not a group thing, tribalism thing, where I say if you are training with a competition, you're on the bright side. And if you train with a cast iron, you're on the dark side. It has nothing to do with this. It's at the end of the day preference. And at least you have a kettlebell. They're in shortage right now still. So if you have one, awesome. I'm rooting for you. The reason why I do it is just to prove to you that this is not true based upon the experience that we have not only with our clients but also with our training so depending on where you want to engage maybe your idea is to compete one day in kettlebell sport maybe then you want to jump for a competition if you want to use very heavy kettlebells and use them for other stuff as well maybe choose the cast iron like i mentioned we favor the comp because you can do anything with it and technique always stays the same but maybe if you ask my brother Luca, he will probably tell you something different and that's totally fine. 90 Days of Kettlebells is an online workout course for beginners who want to train at home, lose weight and achieve lasting results without wasting time and money with crash diets and unused gym memberships. The program works as follows. You will do three kettlebell workouts per week that gradually increase in difficulty. You'll also build three powerful eating habits that have proven successful in our coaching. As the name implies, the program lasts 90 days and you will have lifelong access after purchase. We also include live accountability sessions where you will publicly state your goals. Psychology shows us that if we make our goals public, our adherence to the process and the program increases dramatically 
automatically. If you have been struggling to put together an elaborate kettlebell workout system while trying to lose weight, then 90 days of kettlebells is for you. The price of 90 days of kettlebells is 59 US dollars per month for three months, and you can save 20% with a one-time payment of 147 US dollars. We'll open registration only to a small number of new clients. Join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public. Link is in the description.